Hello, welcome, how are you? I'm John, the Coffee Apostle, and I'm in a wood. We're out here today because it's a blooming lovely day, and I also want to share with you how easy it is to make coffee anywhere. You could be in a wood, at the beach, at a friend's house. Why am I doing this? Anywhere! So let's get down to it. Today, we're learning how to brew the perfect pour over. That's right, the pour over technique. Now, technique makes it sound like some sort of specialism uh, gathered over years of honing one's brewing technique and barista training. But we're gonna leave the beard scratching, bean weighing and water purity testing at home for now. That's for the coffee geeks. I've got nothing against them. I mean, I'm one too, deep deep down. So it's super simple. It's really easy. What do we need? We need. Freshly boiled water. A vessel of some description. A dripper. This is a V60 Harrier. A filter paper to go inside the filter. And some delicious coffee. John, could I just ask, what coffee is that? Good question, kid. I like him, he's smart. This is a delicious organic espresso blend from Apostle Coffee called the devil's chair. I'm just gonna show you again. Glass, V60 dripper, paper filter. That's where we start. Freshly boiled water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water and we're just gonna lightly rinse the paper out. Just go around the edge so that all of it gets a bit wet. Allow that to drain. Now what we're doing here is we're getting rid of any nasty papery taste that might be in the paper filter and uh, getting ready for our proper brew. Discard the water in a manner befitting your surroundings. No, no, no. Drip it back on top. Now it's time for the coffee, big boy. It's Gordon Ramsay. For a pour over, we like to use 20 to 25 grams of coffee per serve. So that is about four generously heaped tablespoons. Or if you've got a Hario scoop, such as this, it's about two of these. Next, freshly boiled water. Now I don't want to get too geeky, but this should be two minutes off the boil, allowing it to cool down to between 95 to 97 degrees C. Or just leave it for two minutes. So we're gonna start by pouring our freshly boiled water over the ground coffee in a circular motion, and I just allow it to bloom. You just wanna cover the grounds and then wait for it to bloom. Just enjoy it. Smell it, watch it, be, be at one with it, be at peace, listen to the birds. Oh, that's great. Nice. So just before the point when all the water is drained, you're gonna to wanna to pour a bit more water, this time in the opposite direction, making sure you disturb all of the grounds in the filter. And again, leave to settle and drain. I mean, this takes time, this one, but you know, you could be reading the paper, checking your, checking your gram, checking the Instagram. You could be subscribing to Apostle Coffee just below. What else, you know, there's lots of things you could do. And now for the third and final time, we're gonna disturb the beans again in the opposite direction, making sure we get every little bit of coffee and allow that to drain through. So, remove the dripper and dispose of the paper in a manner best befitting your surroundings. We actually compost these. They provide excellent organic matter and nitrogen for the garden. It's a bumblebee. So there you have it, perfect pour over coffee. Why not add a splash of milk? I won't judge you for it. Ah, delicious. A simple cup of pour over coffee made outside in the woods. Nothing better. So give it a go. Try out some different amounts. It's all about finding what works best for you and how you prefer to have your coffee. There's no exact science to it. Although some people will have you believe there is. So. Give it a go, go get the kettle on. You've already wasted enough time uh, hanging out with me. And I look forward to reading your comments on how you got on. Boom. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this film. We definitely enjoyed making it. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe below to join us on some more coffee brewing adventures.